Hey guys, welcome to part four of the dropshipping with AliExpress course. So yesterday I went over the, in part three I went over the applications you should be installing on Shopify. Make sure you have done this before you go into part four. But there was one application I left off on purpose, which is your key application. Now if you go to ericoflesh.com slash Overlo, you will find a 30 day free trial for this application. And Overlo is the application that basically connects AliExpress with Shopify and streamlines the whole process of finding products, shipping products, buying products, and everything in between when it comes to your supply chain for your store. So like I said, ericoflesh.com slash Overlo. Once you do that, you'll hit get Overlo now and it'll bring you to the, your, the Shopify application and install it on your store. You can see it's installed right here on mine and that will basically allow you connect AliExpress with Shopify with that 30 day free trial. So I clicked on Shopify right from my app store. Now that it's installed, it's a super easy interface. It makes it extremely easy for you to do anything. They have a quick overview here on more details so you can learn even more. So once you install Overlow, you should have everything you need to get started. Now there are price rules here. Um, you can open the settings. This is basically defining your price uh, as you go along. Um, I usually don't touch this right from the beginning. I leave this alone. I go directly once I install Overlow to find and add your first product. Now this is where you're going to be able to do all your research for your products themselves and find exactly what you want to add. So since we're in kitchen, I'm going to do kitchen and I'm going to keep it in all categories. Now you could narrow this down if you wanted to into specific areas like home and garden supplies. That might be beneficial. But I'm going to just start with searching for kitchen to give me ideas of different products that I want to put in place. Now you will see here the different things coming up, um, garlic uh, and ginger grinders, different sponges, um, so on and so forth, a temperature monitor. Oh, I like this one thermostat. Now once you go through here, you'll see um, you want to find the ones with beautiful pictures like this, things that are easy for people to um, see on your store. Uh, you want to make sure it's very clear so that way um, people trust your product. Um, some of them, now here they're all beautiful, beautiful pictures. Um, some of the pictures that come up on AliExpress are just awful. Um, so you want to avoid those like the plague. The second thing you want to do is once you come in here, you want to see um, how many were sold because it's a good indicator of what is selling well. And then also you want to click on here because you need to make sure that they have e-packet, which is right here. E-packet's the only option when it comes to shipping. If you choose any other shipping option, um, then you, first of all, the fast ones are extremely expensive, and um, the free Chinese post usually takes two to three months, and that's not okay. E-packet, depending on when they ship, can take as low as five days all the way up to ten, which is something that, for such a low-cost item, people are willing to um, accept. On your store itself, you want to call that out, that shipping takes one to two weeks. Um, but other than that, if you have e-packet, it's fine. Now, most people say you can only pick e-packets that are completely free, but I don't believe in that 100%. I believe as long as the product, this one's 240, 215, and the e-packet is low, 145, you're coming in about $4 there, a little less under the $4. If you sell this for $9.99 or $14.99, you're making a good profit. So as long as the e-packet is available and or um, it's cheap when you add the two prices together, then it's definitely something worth looking at. Once again, I'm going to look at this. This is a water filter um, that you can add to your sink. Uh, does it have e-packet? It does, $1.54. So once again, a good price at $3. You can sell this for $9, $10, $15. $15. Now, if you like a product, you just add to your import list here. Add to import list product is added. Um, I'm going to add a few more. Just let me look at their e-packet here. Great. I'm going to add that to the list as well. And continue to look. E-packet, e-packet. Yes, another good e-packet. Um, I'm going to add this. And let's just keep going. Um, you can fill out as many things as you like um, when you come here. So great stuff. I'm going to add them all to my import list. Import, um, import. Now, once you have these on your import list, you can go to my products here at the top and, ah, the product list is empty. That should not be the case. Ah, here we go. Imported list. Go to imported list first, sorry. 
Um, and you'll see all of the products that you imported. You'll see the pictures. Right here, you can click on pictures and you can have different variants. I want to have this picture on, this picture, this picture, this picture. These are all just great pictures that you can put in place. Um, the product itself has a description. Now, you can, if you make a collection on your Shopify store, you can add it here and the different types and tags. You can add right here, uh, seed remover. So you can add t tags right here that will be imported into your store. You can look at the description. This is the description, basic description. Some of them come with more, some come with less. And there's different variations. This is the price. Don't forget there was probably $1.50 shipping here. So when you come into this variant section, sometimes it'll have 10 different variants, different colors, and so on um, in the SKU. Now this is the cost to you. The Don't forget the shipping for ePack, it was about $1.50. So you're adding $1.50 to that. So for my price, I'm going to put $9 and a compare at price at 15 and what that basically allows us to do is put together a complete view of um, What it was sold at and then a savings of six dollars So the price that they'll pay for it is right here at nine dollars And then the price that it compared to or the official price before the savings was 15 so that will show up in your store um, Great, so I went in that one and you're gonna do this for each one you can change the name and the title the description and any of the images that you want to select, you go right into this page and everything will work. So once again, making sure you change this one plus $1.50, so you're gonna maybe do $13 for this, uh, maybe a compare up price of 15 and put 13. So go through each one of these. Now, you're gonna push these to the store when you're done. You can push them all at the same time by checking them off, or you can do them one by one as you go through each individual product, right? So you're able to go through each one that you like and add them to the store. Now, if you don't like the interface directly with Overload and you want a better chance of searching in a larger selection up front, you can actually go directly to AliExpress.com and um, start searching for, for example, kitchen equipment. And you'll see it will start fulfilling um, your search requirements right on AliExpress. And there are, so we're just gonna go look at maybe, let's see, let's see. These are more advanced stuff. We'll just look at mops and brooms um, in that section. So now it comes up with all these mops and brooms. And what will happen in a second is Overlow will start popping up with this information saying, okay, this is available with ePacket. And the cost of that ePacket is to, Oh, 08. And then if you want to add that to your import product list, all you have to do is literally go into um, this little button right here, the Oblo logo, and hit and click it. And then the product is successfully imported. So that's all you need to do if you want to do it directly from AliExpress. And then you can go back into that Al Oblo dashboard and pull up those products and fill in the information. So guys, super simple, extremely important. This is how you source all your products and put them into the store so you can start selling them through Facebook ads and so on. Now, since we added those first two products to our store, I'm gonna go back over to um, our store here, go to our products section, and you'll notice that they've popped up right away. They've popped up right away, which is great. So now everything's imported. You can even see how much stock your vendor has on AliExpress. You can click right into these and see the pictures that were imported, the descriptions, the title, um, the collection it's in, the price that you put in, the pricing compared to price, the SKU number, everything comes right over, even what it's gonna show up on in search, um, which is great, absolutely great, um, and you can see everything. Now, if you wanna view those, you can click on the view button and you'll see it pop up in your store. Look, it's right there, it took two seconds. We now have the product from AliExpress right in our store. And then finally, later on, once these start getting ordered, we'll go into details, but Overlow actually allows you to completely finish the order and send the ship, send the purchase to the AliExpress vendor to ship to those person's house. So everything's built right in. Guys, Overlow is extremely important when it comes to building a drop shipping store. Go to ericaflesh.com slash Overlow. You'll get a 30 day trial. You'll help me out a little bit. And uh, I look forward to showing you guys part five as we go into how to finalize this, finalize this store, make a logo, fill out the uh, themes themselves, and get your store up and running. So I'll see you guys next time. Talk to you soon.